Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. Now we all know that the speaker on this device is very tinny and not very loud at all compared to what's out on the market on other smartphones these days. So what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at this. This is a Sony NFC wireless Bluetooth speaker with a model number as you can see there of SRS-BTV5. This costs about £55 from Amazon here in the UK. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in getting it. On the bottom of the device you can see you've got a reset button there, you've got NFC off switch as well as power so you don't always need to have NFC on if you've already paired it. You've got the battery charging light there and you've got a Bluetooth LED there as well. Going around the device quickly we've got the volume up and down buttons, you've got Sony branding there, you've got a microphone as well as a phone pickup so you can answer phone calls without having the phone next to your ear and you've got a fold away flap here. Now if I just open this up, you'll notice you've got an audio in port and a DC 5 volt charging port there. So if I plug that in just so you can get a feel for what the colour looks like, it's like an orangey red type of colour. Now incidentally you can plug in your PC to there via that audio in 3.5mm audio jack port there or an MP3 player like an iPod or a Sony Walkman or anything like that so it comes in pretty handy. Along the top you've got the NFC chip there where you tap your device to connect it up and you can see that speaker through that little hole there looks pretty nice. What we'll do is just turn that on just make sure it's looking for the devices and um, before we go any further I'm just going to shut up for a second so you can see the decibel meter in the back it measures sound so an average office or quiet space it should be about 40-50 decibels so I'll shut up So about 43, 45 ish when it was quiet there. So what we're going to do is essentially play a music track with using the standard speaker. See how loud that actually is. Here we go. We'll play this one. Turn it up. Look at the decibel. So 63, 65 ish that was. So now what we'll do is we'll switch NFC on. There we go. We'll get that playing again. And then we'll pair the devices. So touching the backs. And as you can see there, it says connecting to SRS-BTV5. It's going to take a moment or two to link up to the NFC Bluetooth wireless speaker. And it says connected to SRS-BTV5. And it's quite low at the moment, so I'll just turn the volume up. There you go. That symbolises that little orb sound. That it's, at, it's at its loudest. So, there we go. We'll turn that up from here. Watch the decibel meter. So that was about 74, 75 decibels using the Sony Orb or wireless NFC speaker. I call it the Orb because it just looks like a Orb to be fair, just smaller than a tennis ball really. But it's definitely louder than the speaker that comes with it and as I say you get about four hours worth of play from it on a full charge and we'll play this one that peaked up of about 87 decibels so what I'm gonna do now is turn off Bluetooth and NFC so it's not paired with this anymore. If I can go back. You can see it's significantly lower according to the decibel meter. So the sound coming from this thing is definitely more as you'd expect because it's a dedicated speaker but some devices are very low indeed considering they're wireless let's have a look about 70 
There you go, it's connecting. Now it's that puff puff ass shit, chicha chaw grass shit, blunts to the head, cush pillows, no mattress, speedboat traffic, bitches automatic, cross that line, fuck around and get your ass kicked, we roll shit to burn slow as fucking molasses, probably won't pass it, smoke it to the last hit, damn. Definitely louder, it's a bit punchy and bassy as well, not too much bass, I personally would have liked a lot more, but it's whatever you can get into a small device and obviously you don't want to put a too powerful speaker in there. Incidentally, this is 1.2 watts uh, in power, this little tiny speaker, but it's definitely good for the desk, see how well this uh, forms. Yeah, nigga, I'm still fucking with you, still waters run deep, still Snoop Dogg with D.R.A. Nah, nah, nigga, guess who's black? Eighty one, eighty two, I think it was there. We'll turn Bluetooth off as well. And we'll carry on going, see what that comes up to. Speaker came in at eighty two decibels at the highest I noticed. So it adds about 11 to 12 decibels on top of what the device can actually push out on its own, which I think is pretty handy. But as I say, it's got an audio input jack as well, so you can hook it up to another MP3 player, uh, as I say, like an iPod or a Sony Walkman or your PC. So we'll get that plugged in and see how well it sounds via my PC. Who remembers this? Green salad up, a green salad down, last gun start, got a tail is brown. One of the tracks. I'm sure you'd agree, as you get towards the, the higher volume points, it does seem to get heavily distorted, but what do you expect for a small 1.2 watt speaker? It's, uh, it's, as I say, fits in the palm of your hand, just smaller than a, a tennis ball. And it's quite elegant, it looks quite nice just sitting on your desk. What we'll also do is test out the phone functionality as part of this. So, as you can see, we've got the microphone there, as well as the, the phone button. So we'll just try test call itself. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's coming through the volume. Let me just turn up the volume because it's just come through on the speaker, so we'll get that turned up. Can you hear me still? Yeah, yeah, everything's coming through the volume on this end. Okay, excellent, because you're coming through on the speaker now on the Sony NFC Bluetooth speaker. Um, I'm quite, I'm about, I don't know, half a meter away from the speaker itself. Does my sound coming through okay? Everything's perfectly fine. It's like you haven't moved from that, you're still in front of it. Excellent, I can hear you. It sound seems a little bit muffled this side. How close are you to the microphone on your side? The phone's basically to my, uh, the, the, to my mouth. As you would normally hold it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. I'm just going to hang up. <coughs> Cut that a little bit short. But as you saw there, the microphone this side goes through okay to the recipient the other side. But this side, it seemed as if the speaker was a little bit muffled. I don't know if that was because the user on the other side was holding it very close to their phone or just how it comes through on the speaker. But even after a call, it can pick up wireless connectivity to itself straight away. So if I start playing a music track again, and then put the volume up, And on the phone as well. So as you saw there, the Sony wireless speaker can take phone calls, albeit a little bit muffled in this test example here. But my side, the microphone came across okay, even though I'm a considerable distance in terms of mouthpiece from where I would normally hold the handset. It can play music tracks from your Android phone. Notice I said Android phone, not Sony Xperia, because other Android handsets can be 
linked up via the NFC Bluetooth connectivity on this device as well as iPhone devices as well. And if you feel the need to go old school, you can even plug in a physical 3.5 millimeter audio in jack there and play from your PC or any other MP3 related device. And that's been a look at the Sony NFC wireless Bluetooth speaker and the Sony Xperia Z in this particular example. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and it's totally free. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.